It's a pleasure as always. <laughs> no, likewise. Um, so, um, the last time we saw you guys was your, for your headlining tour last year. The, he the headlining tour last year? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The support tour. Yeah. The support tour, yes. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's headlining to us, I guess. So, you know, five <laughs> minutes and all right. So, at least you have longer this time. Yeah. <laughs> Twice as long. I guess there's been kind of, um, I guess, an influx of fans not being able to, to come here to America. Do you have any thoughts on that in regards to, like, visa issues, etc.? Well, um, <laughs> the thing is, you have to start the visa procession <laughs> um, more than one week ahead, I guess. Yes. It, it takes, uh, for us, it took, uh, to get the visas we wanted, it took, like, six months. Oh, okay. With applications and... Uh, Letters of recommendation, uh, yeah, because we wanted a, a longer visa than just, okay. not just a month. So, okay. uh, so was that a newer process then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Usually, usually we start uh, one month before, which is uh, good enough for for, for a normal work visa. But we wanted uh, this uh, special ability visa that lasts for three years. Oh, wow. So it took some time, but I mean, such things you have to plan ahead. I mean, uh, it's not enough to just call the embassy three days before you leave and. Uh, Put on the silly and trust your luck on those. Forget that. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, well, for um, the first section of your tour, you guys had done um, side A of Exonia. So, are you planning on doing B, or has it been like enough time yet for you guys to actually introduce that section of the album? Well, we're gonna pl uh, we're gonna play three songs from Maxim I think, the So, it's gonna be one song that we didn't play the last time. Okay. And plus the two first songs. They fit too good in the in, in the set, so we, we didn't want to kick them out. We have tried some other songs uh, in Europe. How uh, did those go over? Uh, we ended up with uh, with uh, playing Giants, nice. Idol, and uh, Ethical. Okay. They were the best live songs, believe me. The other ones were pretty good too, but. Uh, so you doing yeah. Giants tonight? Oh yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, so with you guys doing um, Sleeping Giants EP, um, it was. Absolutely an epic release, and it actually shows your mastery in regards to you guys having innovation and being able to introduce melody and everything else and, and to incorporate it with brutality. So amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh, thanks. Um, how did you guys get involved with Scion? Get involved with Scion? Uh, well, um, or how did they involve you to do the EP? Well, they, they usually they, they do that from time to time. Uh, I think they did uh, some metal band last year, too. I can't remember the name of that. And the metal fest. Uh, and the Amer American metal band. Uh, oh, sorry, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, we heard about that and uh, we thought it was a pretty cool thing. And we, because they, they paid, paid the studio and uh, released this uh, promo, CDs, promo vinyls, and the free download. And after, I think, it's six months, we have uh, all the copyrights for all those songs recorded, yeah. which is awesome, you know? It's so practically. Awesome. Five uh, songs that we can use for, yeah, forever, for, for, forever, yeah, not, yeah. for free. So um, we, we had some material uh, lying around here and there, like old things. We had a couple of riffs that we haven't been, been, been using before. So uh, we decided to, uh, I think we kept we kept one original riff from the Heimwegen from '93, and one from Ali Musirki uh, from '92, and then we. Wrote new riffs and new lyrics, uh, so it's like the small parts of them are, are from back in the days, and the rest is uh, new, two very different songs. And uh, the rest we, uh, the rest is in like uh, newly written material. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's very awesome. Very very awesome. Well, um, now in regards to now moving on to Storm, um, it's very awesome artwork, especially because you know you've got the two riffs. Thorn, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, so, as far as um, I guess the seven inch is concerned, what was kind of like the deciding factor for that? Just that like nostalgia, the, or that was uh, a deal we made with uh, Soul Center Records like ten years ago, something like that. We, uh, yeah, we were supposed to do a seven inch for for a long time. <laughs> we didn't have time to do it until uh, last year, and uh, the songs were written some years back, two thousand. So we, yeah, there was some material just lying there as well. Uh, more moody songs uh, rather than the, the style we have uh, nowadays. So in some sort of way, it was a little regressive. 
maybe some unconscious way to you know to make a perfect closure over the 90s for our sake. You know? So because we went back to um, to my parents' cottage in, uh, in the woods where I grew up, and uh, we borrowed this tractor to drive the equipment on the bumpy uh, cattle road. <laughs> So it was a pretty cool thing. We were able to spend uh, a whole week in there recording four songs. Uh, two of them are on uh, the seven-inch release of like Taxi Mighty Go Udini, and the rest is on the Thorn seven-inch. Okay. Okay. That was a yeah, a really, really special atmosphere, like a small wooden cottage and a portable studio. And, uh, Would you consider going back and doing it again? Well, it's not impossible. I mean, uh, it was a certain, it got us in a certain uh, old-school mood. So it was pretty massive, actually. And we're, we're pretty drunk too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that adds to the atmosphere. Yeah, it's just like you know, just two songs with uh, three riffs. That <laughs> 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 was pretty cool. I mean, and, and something different, you know. And it was like a, uh, a side project within Enslaved, so to speak. So it was uh, really refreshing. That's awesome. Um, now, as far as like, I guess you guys having your side projects, etc. Um, I guess on a related note, as far as indie recordings now, actually up here in, in America, which is actually nice, because it, does it also allow for you guys to, let's say, um, bring like Trina Korea as well as, you know, well, Audrey right. Horn here, or a little bit more exposed to the masses here in the States? I don't know, I mean, Audrey Horn lives their own life, so they have nothing to do with that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's goes for Trina Korea, and um, it's a little difficult to set up uh, geeks and tours with, uh, with that band, because it requires... One thing is it requires a lot of space on the stage, so it will have to be. Or just your recordings, actually, because ND is now here in America, so it makes it a little bit more accessible to get your stuff. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's well, it's not very accessible to begin with that. But <laughs> 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 this is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, doing that was was fun. I mean, it's been quite a while since we did this kind of thing together. The last one was a concert in uh, Holland. How long ago? Uh, one year and a half ago. Oh, nice. At the festival group called Roll Burn. Okay. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Um, I, yeah, I mean, it's like seven people and uh, loads of instruments. And, uh, have to have a big stage for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Loads of uh, yabba dabba yabba gobbledygook, uh, masks, costumes, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty different. <laughs> But it was, it was fun doing it, and we are planning on doing some more. Nice. When, we, when we have time. Whatever that is. <laughs> it's not only up to me, I mean, uh, we have three guys from Enslaved, I mean, we have to have time to do it, and then we have uh, the rest of the musicians, so it's a little difficult to, yeah, <laughs> to gather all the, all the forces together. Well, but we will, we, it, it will happen. Again. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. Well, since you guys um, have been doing your own kind of like, um, Producing, etc. And then with their branding, also, um, I still having their own studio. Does it make it a little, I guess, easier for you guys understanding such of like the technical, like the technical part of it, to produce your own? Yeah, definitely, of course. I mean, uh, we have been doing this for arranging, and producing for ourselves for many years. So uh, uh, I think it would, it would be maybe too challenging for us to have a producer telling us what to do. So <laughs> we. Kind of trust ourselves on that one. Which is always an awesome thing, always. Um, so I guess now, um, bringing it back to you guys, um, what's in the store in the future? Well, um, this store is ending uh, in. Uh, <laughs> I'm going home. Fourteenth, last one. Obviously, going back home. Uh, there's a couple of shows before before. Uh, before the end of the year, there's uh, one in Spain, one in Portugal, and uh, a couple in more, like small shows. Uh, uh, at our 20th anniversary, we'll have a little show in Berlin. That's awesome. Um, and we, I think we have a couple of like uh, showcase gigs, like one or two songs here and there. Yeah. So this was not very much big going on before, uh, before Christmas. And Eva went on, and, uh, his wife's gonna have a kid before Christmas, so oh. obviously things. Yeah, we're not touring in the <laughs> November and December when the when they have a tour. And I think it was 22nd of December, so oh, things gonna nice. calm down a little bit. Yeah. So 
think the last show is uh, in the end of November, actually. Okay, yeah. okay. Awesome, awesome. Do you have any final words for our video audience? <sighs> Otherwise, I have to say it's great to be back in Chicago. It's, it's like a little nostalgic, for, uh, especially for me and Eva, because it's the first, it, it, Chicago was the first uh, city we played in, in North America, when we came over here in 95. I remember we played a, a double concert, like, a, like a, on all ages in the afternoon. Oh, wow. <laughs> and by the time we played the, the second show, everybody was so drunk in the audience. It was ridiculous. I think we played like half the set, ah, fuck this. Like, let's get hammered instead. It was ridiculous. But the first one was pretty good. Okay. It's a little... I'm yeah. sure they still enjoyed it no matter oh, what. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It, it, it was over Chicago. Yeah, let's go party. <laughs> So I, I love Chicago, and we have loads of friends here, and uh, this is like, well, one one of our hometowns, one of our bastions, so to speak. We have London, we have Toronto, we have uh, Bergen, and we have Chicago. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. So, welcome and keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Sure. <laughs>